Java, dynamic disk drives are intended only and only to create um, span volumes, strip volumes, RAID 5 volumes, simple volumes, and mirrored volumes. So, as you see here, I've got these disks as basic disk drives. So, I'm going to click and convert these uh, basic disk drives to dynamic disk drives. Well, I'm going to choose this 2345, 2345, and click OK. They're initializing, they're becoming um, dynamic disk drives. And yeah, finish, and they are all online, and I'm able to be creating volumes within them. Okay, one last thing to say is that within basic disk drives, you are creating partitions, but within dynamic disk drives, you are not creating partitions anymore and you are creating volumes so this is the difference between a partition and a volume All right. so to proceed ahead let's right right click on the unall unallocated disk space of this and uh, the disk to dynamic disk drive and click new volume All right. we click next as you see here i've got simple span stripped mirrored and array 5 option to choose there there's no more logical disk drive there's no more primary partitions and there's no more extended partitions so what is a simple volume well a simple volume is a volume that you would be creating within di with within dynamic disk drives and um which is which is the which you could be using actually the free disk space to create these simple volumes and they would be extendable within the same disk drive and also within other multiple um, disk drives that are already available for us okay for instance we choose simple we click next and um, this two has already we want to create it on this two or either we could remove it create it on this three right now I'm going to be creating on this four for example choosing only 100 megabytes of um, this space and click next click the um, choose the drive letter click next I'm not going to format it click next and final finished okay as you see it's going to be in initialized and we are all finished okay right now we're going to get a better view and we are finished and we've got our I drive placed here here and so on Right. So one other thing that we could do here on dynamic disk within simple volumes that we couldn't do here on uh, basic disk drives within primary or extended uh, partitions or either logical drives is that to, we could extend this to unallocated disk space. So we could right click on it, extend the volume, right uh, click next and choose another 60 or either I'll make it 140 and click next so we are going to be actually extended the 100 megabytes um, volume that we created before another 140 is going to be sticking to it so click f as soon as we click finish as you see the drive letter didn't change right now we still have the I partition here the I volume here but it's not anymore 100 megabytes of disk space it's 240 so the the actually the volume remains the i actually the i volume remains the same it's not that we're not going to be creating another volume we are just going to extend the volume this space to another 140 megabyte for instance i want to extend this um, um, specific volume another choose extend volume another um, 150 megabytes but not by disk 4 anymore okay so I'll remove this and choose this 3 add it and choose 140 megabytes and click next and as soon as I f um, click finish the one thing you're going to find out is that um, simple volumes remain simple volumes as soon as you're extending them only on the same disk that they were created but as soon as the, you uh, extend them within multiple disk drives they would be automatically um, converted into spanned um, volumes okay I click finished and as you see here 
this is not a simple disk drive anymore here is a simple volume anymore so it's uh, automatic automatically converted into a span volume all right so this is a span volume it's actually what is a span volume it's a simple volume that has been extended onto different and multiple disk drives okay so again we would be creating and making an another quick review on how you could actually create span volumes without uh, creating a simple volume and extending it with it within multiple disk drives so you choose span click next and as you see here um, I'll remove this disk 5 and add disk 2 for instance uh, from disk 2 I'm going to have 100 megabytes and I'll add disk 3 from disk 3 I'm going to choose only 40 I'm going to add disk 4 from this 4 I'm going to only have 70 megabytes so I'm using 70 megabytes alright let me fix, the, fix this again from 3 I'm going to choose 100 from disk 4 I'm going to choose 140 I, I don't know why but it didn't set at it as I chose so now it's now uh, it's working so from this to only although it has uh, one gigabyte of free space I'm, I only want 70 from this 3 I only want 100 and from this 4 I only want I only want 140 okay the limit to spanned volumes is that you're forced to choose two disks um, to create your spanned volume so you cannot be actually creating a spanned volume only within one disk so we chose um, this, this tr 2, 3 and 4, um, 70, 100 megabyte and 140 from each of them and we click next and it would assign a drive letter we're not going to format it and click next and it's finished okay so here we are going to be having another uh, volume which is named J and here as you see named J it's span, it's a span volume and it has 310 mega megabytes of disk storage so uh, it's been using 70 megabytes from disk 2 100 megabytes from disk 3 140 megabytes from disk 4 